In this video, we'll learn how to do the basic Bargello stitch. And the Bargello stitch itself is super, super easy. It is just a simple vertical up and down stitch that comes up from the bottom of the stitch and down at the top or vice versa. And it steps up and down across the canvas as it goes and that's what creates all the classic kind of geometric patterns of Bargello. So here's how it's done. It couldn't be easier. You just insert your needle from the back of the canvas, canvas Pull the yarn all the way through, insert it again from the front, and that's one stitch. And to make another one, I'll just go back down to the bottom of the stitch, insert again, and then insert from the front. So one of the first things that you might notice is that the way the stitches are kind of grouped together. And all of this is um, communicated to you by the chart that comes with your pattern. All Hello Bargello patterns come with a chart, and the chart is a really visual representation of what your stitches should be doing. The chart is formatted on a grid, and each square of the grid corresponds to one square of your gridded canvas that you're working on, and it's really just a literal representation. So my chart has told me that um, I'm placing my stitches in these sort of groups, so I've got four, five, four, three, three stitches that are all placed directly next to each other. But then sometimes the stitches step up, as you can see. So let's take a look at how to step up the stitches and how to know exactly how long to make each, each stitch. Because that's really the only kind of technical thing that you have to really understand about making a Bargello pattern. So first, let's just talk about the length of each stitch. I've come up in this square and most Bargello stitches, the most classic one is called the 4-2 step. And what that means, the 4 part of that means that we always skip over 4 horizontal threads or bars of the canvas for each stitch. So here my yarn has come out of this square and I'm going to skip 4 horizontal bars. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm going to go down in the next square. Pull that through. And now I'm going to make another stitch that's the exact same as that one. So I'm going to go back down to the bottom. And again, I'll go in again right next to it. And now it's time for me to step up according to my pattern. So again, this is called the 4-2 step. So the 2 of that refers to that we step up by 2 bars each time. So we'll start counting back at where our last stitch started. That would be this square. And we're going to skip two horizontal bars and then actually go into this next square. So again, here's where our last stitch began. We're going to skip one, two, and come out in this next square. And then again, for the stitch length, we're going to skip one, two, three, and go into the next square. Now all of this counting can be a little daunting in the very beginning because this is all kind of on a tiny scale and it can sort of make your eyes swim and um, it can sometimes even be a little discouraging for some people, but it becomes much easier once you get started. So I really wanna encourage you to just hang in there and all of this kind of tedious counting is really only in the very beginning. And once you kind of have your pattern established, everything goes much more quickly and easily, I promise. And another tip I have for you, if you find it difficult to just see what you're doing in the very beginning, it can be really helpful to work on a dark background. So you can get um, just like a piece of black paper, for example, and put it down underneath, um, underneath your work. And then that will really help the colors to kind of pop against the black and it makes it much easier to count. Okay, so according to my pattern, I've now reached the sort of upmost tip of this row and now it's time to start working back down again. So you might have noticed that um, as I was working on the uphill portion, I was always starting my each stitch at the bottom of the stitch and now I'm gonna reverse that and start each stitch at the top of each stitch as I work down. So I'm gonna be skipping, um, stepping down by two. So I'll now start counting from the top of the last stitch I worked. I'm gonna uh, start counting on that square. I'm gonna skip one, two, and I'll insert my needle into this square. And then again, for the length of the stitch, it's the same as before. I'm just gonna skip one, two, three, four bars, which by the way, is also the same as skipping three empty squares. If it's easier for you to visualize it that way, you've got three empty squares in the middle of your stitch there. And now I'm simply working from top to bottom on each stitch. And now another thing that starts to happen at this stage is that I've now got some symmetry going on with my previously worked stitches. And Bargello has a lot of symmetry in the patterns. Not everything is symmetrical, but it often is. And when you're working a symmetrical pattern, it can 
it um, actually becomes really easy to just kind of follow your work from what you did previously and sort of create the mirror image of your work. And it becomes really easy to kind of always check yourself and make sure you're staying even along those horizontal lines. And then that way you know you haven't miscounted anything and you can kind of just start zipping along without quite so much thinking and counting. But that is really all there is to the basic Bargello stitch. It's super, super easy. And in the next videos, I'm gonna show you just a few more tips you need to know to complete any project.